In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new extension called Bloom that people are using to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. For example, this person here I just found on Twitter, he was using Bloom and their auto buy feature to buy in. Uh, Bloom has a bunch of features that I want to discuss in this video that I think are really cool, including something like an AFK sniper. So when people tweet stuff, you'll automatically buy into that coin. And some really good examples for that could obviously be, I mean, for example, the Donald Trump thing. Now the CA wasn't added into this, but you guys know how Trump went uh, that one that ran crazy. Maybe a better example of this would be the Melania token where the CA is actually included into this. And then as soon as that tweets goes up, like instantly, you're going to be getting a buy in on Bloom and you don't have to do anything. It's like AFK, right? Um, now, I will talk as well. There could be other examples for this. Like there's a lot of AI coins going up. So for example, someone in my Discord was talking about this coin, uh, this Blacktail AI coin. And um, yeah, basically this has been running up and if you're able to get in here around this 500k market cap range instantly, then I mean, you would be sitting at an all time here of like a 20x. So it's definitely a tool and I'm going to explain to you guys how you can use that tool and make some really good profits with. I also ended up making over $15,000 from Trump and I was calling when I was doing it in my telegram, my public telegram. So go join that. My Twitter actually got suspended by the way. Um, so maybe out of pity, you guys can subscribe, subscribe to me on YouTube here. Maybe at 10K subs, I will do a one sub challenge. So we're getting pretty close. If you guys can subscribe, go check it out. And 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. So just check, you know? So to get Bloom, just click the link in the description. And I'm just gonna go over some of the features that they have. I'll go over them now. And then we're gonna actually split it up into the videos and go into them in depth. But for example, what I'm gonna cover is this AFK mode where you can auto snipe stuff on Twitter, which is just overpowered. Because you guys see when things, when things, um, you know, someone tweets out a CA, it usually instant migrates. That's because people are using stuff like this. So you need to get on top of it and get onto using it. Um, we're also going to be talking about how you can regularly trade on this. It's got really cool things as well, as well as they also have an extension that I think rivals uh, Nova. And it's just great when, you know, because Nova is often down sometimes or whatever. It's also just a good second option in case you want it. Um, I mean, they have a lot of cool features that I'm going to go over in this video. But yeah, I would definitely like, I would definitely recommend just getting the Bloom bug, getting it all set up anyways. So if it ever is down or you want to swap to something else, then you can do so. So similar to what I did with Nova, I want to actually import uh, a wallet. Now, I already have a wallet imported here, but I'm going to show you guys how you can do it. You want to just head over onto your Bullex, go to your wallet manager, and you want to go up here and click on new. When you go to new, it will basically, you can do new wallet and then your wallet will be down here, right? So this will be your wallet address, but you can get the private key. So you click onto the private key. Uh, it'll show you all your private keys. Now you want to go and find whatever name the wallet is. So wallet 14, copy and paste the private key. And then we're going to go over onto uh, Bloom here. We're going to go on to settings here we're going to go to wallets and then we are going to go to import wallet and we'll enter the private key in there and just like that it will have imported our wallet and then you want to actually go in and there you go then you'll have your wallet in here and you can fund it however and then you can just you know you can select onto this and you can have this and set it as your default wallet so you also when you're doing this you want to make sure you have default and spot turned on you can also have it for copy and sniper um, or you can have different wallets for sniper modes, depending on what you're doing. Um, but you can just always turn all of these on, but, uh, it depends. It depends what you're trying to do. I would just keep all of them on right now. If you want, you can also set a name for it if you want, but just make sure you have default and spot set up. But that means when you are using the extension, it will work. So the first thing I want to talk about is this AFK mode, because this is what, where, this is what you need to get Bloom for, because it's just so nice for it. Uh, we're going to click on the AFK thing here and I've already added some configs, but what you'll do is you'll just click add new config. Okay. And then it's going to create a new one and you just click onto it. And then we're going to see a bunch of settings here. So let me go through some of these. I'm going to move my camera out the way just so you guys can see. Um, but you can see here, uh, we have config processor, but we have fees. It's just some important information up here, but what we're actually going to go down to is doing this. Now I'm going to get, um, you know what I'm going to get, uh, let's say, let's say Donald Trump's account, right? Because who knows, he might post another thing or actually Eric Trump, he's probably more likely to be tweeting out a coin. A lot of people have been saying it. So I'm going to take his handle here. Um, I, yeah, and we're going to go to our telegram and let's just, let's just make this a full thing here so we can have a look. All right. So if we go onto this, now the bot, pro bot processor is, you know, that'll just be set by default. You can have multi-region turned on, but what we're going to go down straight to do is put n slash a where it has this little Twitter thing and we'll put in the handle here at Eric Trump. He will be entered into there. And then if you want to set this up now, 
So the settings here, you can actually snipe on radio and you can snipe on pump phone and you can snipe on Twitter, but we're gonna start on the Twitter one. So we're gonna keep it on Twitter. We're gonna have this on um, and here's what we're gonna do. So we can have Twitter tweet. We're gonna turn that on because let's say I'm just using Eric Trump as an example. If he does a tweet, we wanna know about it. If he replies to a tweet, we wanna know about it. If he retweets a tweet, we probably also wanna know about it. Even if he updates his bio to CA, which is very unlikely. I mean, I'm just gonna turn this on anyways, but it's very likely it doesn't. Um, and then, yeah, we can have migration auto create snipe. So this, as soon as it migrates, it's gonna auto create a snipe here. So if we click this on too, we're gonna put a pre-bonding pump fund because we wanna also snipe. This will basically mean that before it's bonded, it will try to snipe it too. And then we can have other slash after bonding. So after it's bonded, we can also have that. Now we have market cap. Now this depends on who you're doing it on. If it's like this, these AI coins, uh, it's not, it's pretty hyped. Like for example, that one I was talking about earlier, this black tail thing that went up, you probably want to have the snipe amount at like, let's say for something of this hype, a maximum snipe amount of like 700 K. Okay. So if it was that we'll say 700 K, but this, this coin here, this Eric Trump one is obviously much bigger than that. And if it did go, uh, if he did make one, it would probably go to about 5 billion. So for the max market cap we want to snipe at, we're going to put, let's say um, 50 million, okay? I'm going to make sure I do enough zeros there. How many zeros is it? That is it. So that's the amount of zeros I need for 50 million, I think. But you know, you need to double check, but I'll put here. So this will put the market cap to, hold on, did it update there? Yeah, it did update there. So that'll put the max market cap, right? You can also do token age. I would keep them off just, just so. Um, but you do want to have a max market cap here because you don't want to be buying into this coin or especially like these AI coins, right? Like these AI coins always usually launch, um, you know, you can decide you want to get into this before bonding and then only have a market cap of 100k. You can totally do that um, and keep the other thing off. But let's just go through this again. Um, now, basically after that, all we have to do is click active here. And then I think, let me just check all the other settings. Yeah, well, we also have the fees. I'm gonna go through the fees too, but basically this will mean it's working right now, okay? But now um, let's go into the buy settings. Now it depends what you're buying again. If this is Eric Trump and he's tweeting this out, me personally, I am buying, I'm buying 40 so worth. That's just what I'm saying. Like I'm, I'm buying it something like this, right? Fee, I will put your fee up, to be honest. This fee needs to be high. So you get into something. If you're putting something like 40 soul in, I'm gonna put this fee to like 0.5 Solana, right? Uh, so now we have a buy. So this is gonna be filled instantaneously, pretty much. And the slippage, I'm gonna put the slippage up even higher as well. So let's say 40%. Um, yeah, that's nice. Um, and then let me just check. So for this as well, I would also, it depends what you're buying into for anything that's pre pump fund to keep it like this. If there's something that's before it's migrated to pump fund, you don't need map protection. Um, I would turn this off and I wouldn't do a tip, but if you're buying into something like this, you probably need map protection when it's already like, you're going to be buying into this at like, you know, 20 million market caps, put map protection on and put your buy tip to something like 0.5 as well, to be honest. Now this is, this is something I'm just using this as an example. Realistically, if it wasn't something as hyped, um, and if it's something before you can get rid of this, you don't need a tip for this. If you don't have, if you have met protection off and you don't need your fee high as high as this, um, think of this, put an extra zero in front of it. Realistically, maybe another zero in front of it. If you're buying something normally and it's a coin that is not going to be as high as this. So put 0 0.005, something like that for your tip and, 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 you know, keep it proportionate to your funds. You know, if you don't have. 40 soul on this account, you know, you're not gonna have, you don't wanna be spending two soul on a tip. That's a lot of money, but in whatever case, you know, basically then we're all set up here, right? And we can change the book processor, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually make a difference. And then if we just click back here, um, our, it will be completely active. So as soon as, you know, he tweets out a CA or something like that, it will automatically buy in, um, you know, pretty much instantaneously. Like the moment the tweet is out, you're gonna get a fill order and you're gonna buy in with 40 sol or whoever much you set up. And you can always change these, go back onto this, change it, change it, whatever you want. But you know, there's a lot of like AI coins, for example, like people know things are launching and you don't know when they're gonna post a CA or not. Like this, for example, this completely rose up out of the depths if, I mean, this is gonna show before it migrated, but it basically went from zero to 4 million. So if you were able to get in at that time, but in, in pre before it migrated to pump phone, then you are making, 
Uh, it depend doesn't matter how much you put in. If you put in one soul or two soul, it doesn't matter. You're gonna be walking out of there with probably like 50, 60,000. That's just how it is. If you get if you get good with one of these sniping bots, you know, um, and then obviously you got to trade with it normally, you know, you got to sell yourself. So <laughs> make sure you're prepared for that. But uh, yeah, the next thing I want to get into then is their actual extension, which is really, really cool. And they've got some really nice features. So I'm going to show you guys how you can set that up as well, actually. So if we go over to um, the Bloom Guides here, we're going to click on this. This is the best way to do it. Just go to Bloom Guides. Um, this will load up and then you're going to just scroll down here to Chrome extension and then Let's click how it works in Bloom Docs. And then you can see here, we have the Chrome web store. Click on this and add it to Chrome. 4,000 users, got five star like this. It's rated well, there's a, there's a good amount of people. Now I'm tra trading out of Valve at the moment. Now I'm gonna leave the, the links in the, in the description if you guys want, but you know, you just add it to Chrome here and then open up Bottle X. It works on uh, like pretty much everything. Bottle X, even deck screener, you know, uh, Photon, all the, all the regular ones, right? You click onto the Bloom extension here. It's gonna ask you to get a code. Just click the get code button. It's gonna bring you to your Telegram and it's gonna give you a code. Just click on the start bot. And once you get on this message, it will give you a code. And then all you have to do is go back up here and paste in your code, okay? It's as simple as that, very straightforward. Uh, and then you can see it's just similar to the uh, Nova bot. We've got Insta bias here. Now, you know, I would just get this, try it out, see which one you like more. I'm gonna talk to you about this, this buy thing, which I really, really prefer. Um, and, and I'm gonna show you how you can get the settings up for it. So go into any coin, first of all, you're gonna see your thing here. If you don't, it's okay. Um, but just go into a coin first and we're gonna go over here to the settings, the Bloom settings. It's gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna tell you guys what settings you should put in here. Preset label, name it whatever. I have it as normal, for example. I'll actually, I'll just click my preset here. So my buy amounts are 0 0.25, 0 0.51, 1.52, 5 and 10. So just put it in like this. Your sell percentage is here. Buy fee, buy tip, buy slippage. I would pause the video here and just go through all of them. Take this, copy and paste it down. Now these these tips, like this is, okay, for example, I will mention this before. Um, this has med protection off, which I like to trade with because it's faster and because it saves me money on fees. You can actually end up putting these fees to zero, but I just like to keep them on. Um, but if you put on map protection on, you should probably have two presets. If you have another map protection on, you're gonna need to put this uh, buy tip up like this, you know, even to the seven five or maybe even more, you know, sometimes uh, during the day, you're gonna need to put it to like 0.1 tip if you have map protection on. So you get fast fills still. Um, but I like to keep map protection off completely. Um, and you can also have auto tip on or off. It depends if you have lots of volume, this can be really useful because it will auto put your Gito tip in. So whatever will work and give you the fastest fill. So it's instantaneous as if you don't have map protection on. So, you know, that's it. For example, my buy slippage, this is kind of, uh, you know, for me, I like 23%. That's always been my, my case. And sell slippage is a little bit higher because, you know, sell. Now, one thing I'll mention is your buy amounts. These are, you know, you need to adjust these depending on what um, you actually buy with. Because if you have 10, you no, know, if you're trading with more volume than this, you should put this up higher. If you're trading with less, like, you know, you could put this to 0 0.1 or a zero, you know, 0 0.05, although I wouldn't recommend aping that, or like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, you know, do it like that. You could do it completely like that, right? So now when we're on a coin like this, you can also resize this, which is really useful. But now that we're on here, we can basically go through and we can set up one of these quick buy things. So yeah, you can resize this and you can see all the really useful things. And they also have a few other things. Now, I have my sell percentage, you know, this is nice. 5% is when I've aped in something big and you don't want to sell a lot, right? Um, but yeah, I usually like to clip 10%, 15% out. Like I will always click these buttons mostly. And then these are just useful buttons here. Now this one's also really, really nice. I, I don't know why this is nowhere else. Sell initials. Oh my God, that is so good. You just click initials here and your initials are out. I don't know why that is not in other things, but yeah. And then as well, you can always enter in like four soul here, or you could have, you know, sell percentage, you know, 30% or, you know, sell soul, two soul. You can always enter in specific ones. You can also get PLs from this as well, once you've bought, bought into something, which is pretty cool. And you can also create a sign of task. Now you can always click your settings by just clicking on that settings icon and you can switch profiles here by clicking on this and go to another profile. Now I only have 0.5 in my wallet. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can find something here that I can get into. Uh, just for an example purpose, right? 
I mean, a lot of these are rugs. I haven't been in the trenches today, so I'm probably gonna get rugged on something. I don't like to buy stuff within, you know, I need. I like to stay in the trenches for a little bit longer before actually buying or something. But for example's sake, uh, let's see, maybe there's something that's getting volume here. Now I'll just show you an example of this working. I've just clicked on a coin here. Let's just put 0 0.4 buy. I clicked on it there, order sent. You can see I'm already in. Now this is <laughs> dumping, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna show it as an example. You can sell your initials here if you are up. Um, you can also just sell a amount of souls. So for example, it's updated on Bullex here. You can see my order's gone through. If we just click sell 100%, now keep in mind, I have my fees kind of low. So it is a lower, it is a smaller transaction. You know, it takes a little bit longer, but um, it will, like if you up your fees, you can depend on what you want. But usually I like trading about this speed. I mean, you can see that this is actually pumping like a decent amount here, but I'm just gonna sell, uh, I think here, right? If I just click sell 100%, click through and then see you can sold already. It's already sold and I made uh, $10. Like, uh, oh wait, hold on, yeah, you can see that. But yeah, you see, just like that, you can see how quickly these buys and sells are going through. And then as well, it's also showing me on, um, like, you know, on Telegram here, you can see it's already showed. Now here's one thing you can do that's cool. Click share PNL, you click on it. And then here you can see your PNL is made and you can just see that, um, yeah, well, I made 2%, I made $2. Uh, probably only made like a dollar because of the fees but if you know um you know what i mean i'm just showing this as an example right i think it's really cool damn well this is pumping maybe i should have actually done some research into this coin and not done not just uh throwing some money into it as an example but uh anyways those are just some of the cool things that you can do with the nova bot i just think that you know in this day and age where all of the tools are being like you know there's this tools coming out all the time you need to have the edge all the time so if you have this edge Oh my God, why is this pumping? What is going on? Uh, <laughs> in this day and age, if, 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 you know, you need to have the best tools to get around. So having something like this and, you know, having the Twitter sniper, for example, which is really good, or having this as well, so you can use, I mean, some people don't like Nova, it's whatever. You can use Bloom here, for example. I just love the sell initials button for, for, personally, because I always just sell like 50% whenever it goes to like two or three X, but I would rather just sell my initials, have my initials out and just be good with that. Um, like right now, if this was up to the pr my price it's at right now, I want to click a sell initial button and just be out of it. I don't want to sell 50% because I just want to get my initials out and I don't want to also type in, you know, whatever, 0.4 sold. That takes too much time. Just having initials button there is really cool. Having some of the features that Bloombot has here is really, really nice. And yeah, they also have pretty low fees. I'm pretty sure compared to uh, all the other ones, I think you're actually getting about 30% less in fees than most of the other competition. So, you know, that's also something to think about. And as well, they also told me that they have really fast stuff. Now you can see already how fast that was. Like I wanted to say maybe as soon as I clicked the sell button, it was maybe half a second until it actually went through. Keep in mind, Bullex is also slow when it updates your sell thing. So I would say it's about like 0.25 seconds after I got, I got through. And keep in mind as well, I have very, very, very low fees on my stuff, right? I have, I, the fees I'm using, there are nothing. So if you up your fees, it's gonna be way more than that. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. My Twitter is suspended, so out of pity, can you guys subscribe, please? I wanna get the 10K. I'll do the one soul challenge if I get the 10K subscribers. I'll stream it on Twitch, YouTube, whatever you guys, whatever you guys want. Yeah, just go subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.